Hello everybody and welcome back to Riverside Tech. I hope everyone's doing all right. But today we are looking at the ecosystem, but more specifically how to merge this one with that one. So I hope you will enjoy this video. If you do, please, of course, hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos. But without further ado, let's get into how you can merge these two ecosystems. But I find the Windows and Google ones, they're both a bit not quite there. And so I find myself using some bits for Windows and some bits for Google. But there are ways, which we're gonna talk about in today's video, about how you can merge the Google slash Android and Windows computer ecosystems. Method one is using Microsoft's own services, such as OneDrive, Office 365 or Office Apps and Outlook. So firstly, the reason I like OneDrive is number one, it integrates really, really nicely with Windows. And so it works, I can integrate it with things like Cortana and it just integrates into the file system really nicely. And I much prefer to use that instead of having to go over to the web. I know I can install things, but I can't be bothered to do that because I'm lazy. And most people are, I think. But instead of having to go into the web, I can just have everything there and drag and drop when I please. They also have much better business packages. And when I say business packages, that's a terabyte of storage. One terabyte of OneDrive storage is half the price of one terabyte of Google Drive storage. And so this is the thing I'd definitely go for. Also Office 365 is pretty good. It's a lot better than Google Docs, but it's obviously a lot more professional than Google Docs and more expensive infinitely more expensive. Yeah, but this, this, this works really nicely with OneDrive. And so where, what I can do on my laptop here on Word, I can close that off, go and work on my phone or tablet off the exact same thing on the Word app or Excel app on there. And that's really nice, really smooth and flexible. And thirdly, Outlook. I like Outlook because it's on your computer and it works really nicely with your computer, your calendar, contacts and everything. It just sort of brings everything together into a mailing system and it's great for businesses and personal use just to organize everything you're doing within the email app, which I prefer over the Gmail. I use Gmail quite a lot. I like the new design, but I think I'm going to start using Outlook more. And yeah, method two is Cortana. So I wouldn't say you should replace your current assistant with Cortana. I don't think it's quite good enough. It works quite nicely on my laptop. But the reason I use it to merge these two devices is because I can basically sync everything that happens on here onto there. So if I ever get a text, I'll be notified and I can reply on my laptop. So all it takes is downloading the app, taking a bit of setting up, and I can do anything I want, such as this. Hey Cortana, send a text to James Routledge saying, just making a video and testing out Cortana. Send. Anyway, so if you don't have your phone around you, then that's a really nice quick way of just sending a text. And if he replies, then I'll get a notification on that too. But you can choose which apps you want to give notifications. So things like Facebook Messenger, you can block or have notifications going on there. It would also tell you your battery level, so you know when to start charging. The, the notifications through Cortana don't always work, but most of the time they do, and it's quite helpful. Only thing is when you're playing games, you do get notified and you get a slight second lag when you do. And so the one thing I wish that was done better between these two ecosystems is Microsoft Edge. And sending you can send links from Chrome and your phone over to your laptop, but it has to be opened with Edge on the laptop, I think. And so I wish it could open in Chrome as just opening with your default browser. But obviously, like I was saying earlier with the ecosystems, they want to keep the they want to keep them in their own little box. This is one thing I think about Windows is they keep on trying to push Edge into us, but I like having that integration with Google. And I think I, everyone just prefers Google Chrome. So I wish Windows just could sort of accept that everyone's just gonna use Google Chrome instead of just trying to push us into this, instead of trying to push us into their own ecosystem with, Google, with Microsoft Edge. 
Yeah, so if the two ecosystems companies can stay quite open to third-party software and apps, then it'll be really nice for this level of integration between Android and Windows, which I think most of the users want. And one thing, one thing Android and Windows users desire is to have the integration and ease of use and simplicity of Apple's ecosystem, but not be Apple because Apple's Apple. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said before, please smash that like button and subscribe to Riverside Tech for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.